All right, guys, we have some major news in regards to the U.S. debt ceiling that's going to need to be increased overall or the United States will default in regards to the, their debt. If you like content like this, give it a thumbs up, guys. Consider subscribing if you're brand new here. We're going to take a look at Zen. We're going to talk about Pulse Chain, how many X's it can actually do and why the Bitcoin market and the cryptocurrency market overall is waiting for clarity in regards to this. We always talk about how you have to zoom out on this channel, guys, because the big macroeconomic affairs play a big role in regards to Bitcoin overall. So what you need to pay attention to right now is that Biden is meeting with McCarthy, which is a which is a Republican con congressman. Uh, they have to come to a, a, some sort of agreement to try to raise the U.S. debt limit. Otherwise, the United States is going to foreclose, guys. Okay, they're going to foreclose on their debt. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen because in the history of the United States, that's never happened. We've seen third world countries default on their debt, guys, like Greece, Venezuela. But United States is not a third world country, guys. So Biden is saying to McCarthy, hey, grab your coffee, man. Let's sit down. Let's negotiate something. Do you really want volatility in the stock market? Do you really want volatility in the Bitcoin market? Now, he probably doesn't care about the Bitcoin market, but he's saying, look, Social Security is going to be impacted in the United States. Do you really want that? Okay. Do you want the stock market to go down 30 to 40 percent? Do you want volatility in the market? He's saying, so let's try to come to an agreement so that we don't default on our, again, on our debt. And you and me are going to be remembered as the worst, you know, politicians in history that basically made the United States default on their debt because we could not come to an agreement. That's not what's going to be happening here, guys. It's not going to be happening here. What I can say is that, look, Bitcoin has been in this consolidation range, guys. We've been discussing this on our channel for quite some time. Look, even Bitcoin went up, tested that resistance area, the 55-day moving average that we we're discussing on our previous video. We said, look, there's a consolidation zone happening in this area right now. And you can see there's a lot of confluence of resistance right here, guys. So you can see here a lot of resistance over and over again for Bitcoin to try to get over this. Now, what is the bullish case scenario? Is that, look, if they do raise the, the, the debt ceiling level, this is spells very well overall. It's like we're back in business for Bitcoin and the stock market. Because we can see the S&P 500, we can see the Dow Jones has been waiting for clarity overall in the past days or weeks for this to actually clear up. And once we get that clarity, I think we're going to start moving up against this resistance that we have here. Whether we like it or not, Bitcoin is attached to the US dollar and it is the, the standard overall in terms of the world reserve currency. So whatever happens there, it's going to affect Bitcoin overall. Whether it's in a good or bad way, there is some effect and correlation with the stock market as well too. So we always have to keep in mind the bigger macro picture, guys. Right now, again, we talked about statistical probabilities of where we could be heading. But we need to get above this key ranging area, above 27,300, guys. Okay, so this is very key overall for Bitcoin. And then once that clarity comes in, I think we should be able to close above it from there. But that's what's happening again with the United States overall. Look, the, the T treasures are going to be affected. That market will get hit hard. It's just not going to happen, guys, overall. So very important to see what's going on there. Bigger news, OKX, one of the biggest exchanges is listing Pulse Chain. So this is good that, look, even though Hex wasn't listed on some of these biggest exchange, they're starting to recognize Richard Hart's projects and they are listing Pulse Chain. Why is that? Because if we go to DeFi Llama, guys, we can see that Pulse Chain and PulseX, PulseX in, in particular, has 535 million TVL, total value locked into this protocol, which is a very large, substantial amount of capital in there, guys. So it is right to recognize these projects on these coin index sites. However, even Pulse Chain is not indexing properly on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap because we can see that USDC 
is sitting around 29 billion dollars guys now if we go to if we go to pulseburn.com we can see that the current market cap for pulse chain is sitting around 34 billion dollars so that means pulse chain should be around the number five spot here which is not the case however i do believe over time pulse chain and pulse x will get listed properly because look they're already showing on coin gecko it's just that the market cap is not pre-populating properly guys so you can see pulse x already shows up here guys okay and pulse chain already shows up here now my computer is a little bit slow i don't know why that's the case but i mean it is what it is there so once you go on coin gecko you're able to search pulse chain it will actually come up as an option for you to go in and look at the key data on there but what i want to move your attention to is look the bridge is almost completed 100 percent synced guys okay and we can see that for 148 million have already been deposited now there is a big difference that 148 million has been showing here and that DeFi Llama is actually showing that uh, the number 21 spot here is 535 million. I don't know how this number is being calculated overall, but based off of this, I mean, there is a bit of a difference there. But what we want to see is what we want to look at in particular is that the market cap is already sitting around $34 billion. Now, I do see a lot of people out there you know, saying that Pulse Chain can do hundreds of X's. Now, do I really believe Pulse Chain can do hundreds of X's? No, I don't believe that, guys. Maximum what I see Pulse Chain doing is 10 to 15 X. The reason being is because it's already a large market cap coin. Now, Richard Hart already came out saying, look, market cap really doesn't matter and all that good stuff. It does matter in some sense because it is harder to push the price up especially when you have a large market cap coin otherwise bitcoin would be hitting you know a million dollars overall if market cap really did not matter now let's say the mold market resumes right and paul's chain gets you know about 30 to 60 more billion dollars in regards to the overall market cap where would that put paul's chain right well it would put paul's chain just above tether guys okay and that is specifically saying that there is an influx of investors that are demanding to go into pulse chain guys now there is hundreds and hundreds of coins listed out there can pulse chain really do that is yet to be seen guys so we're gonna have to wait till that next bull market hits for us to truly understand the power of pulse chain but from my understanding and looking at critical data because we can compare and we can look at Cardano as an example, guys. Okay. Cardano, Cardano can be used as an example because we saw Cardano go up from $30 billion in the previous cycle to $90 billion, guys. Okay. So I'm just going to close some of these tabs here because, again, this is taking way too long to load. I don't know why it's taking. I think CoinGecko here is not working properly. But... From this, we saw Cardano in the previous bull run went up from $30 billion to $90 billion, guys. That's 3x in regards to the, the market cap. So if we were to look at this and we were to say ourselves, okay, where can the price be overall if you were to 10x? Well, you would 10x this, right? And that's where you would end up, okay? And that's what the price can do, right? So looking at this, and I'm seeing a lot of people saying, look, 100 of X, 100 X. Look, even myself, even my thumbnails, I put 100 X. But that doesn't mean Pulse, Pulse Chain will do 100 of X. You know, so um, at the end of the day, to make an informed decision, you can, you can always go back, look to these coin decks, index sites, and look at the market caps, what was there before, and how much they actually went up. Now, you could say, hey... Look, a pulse chain has a mechanism that burns pulse chain, which is going to make it go up more in value. Yes, in some case it will. In some case it will, but not even, not substantially, guys. This starts to slow down overall. Okay, the burning mechanism slows down. As long as there is no demand there, it starts to slow down, guys. But you need demand to basically drive the market up overall. 
So anyways, guys, looking at low crypto cap coins like Pepe, what we saw, we, we saw it go up hundreds of Xs. That's why I talk about how Zen is going to do very well overall because it's a low market cap coin. Yes, it's a lot riskier overall than Pulse Chain, but it has a huge potential upside depending on the development that's happening on there, guys. So I'll leave you off with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bros, as always, stay profitable.